Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to the community compilation of the first round of Clairvoyant Pools. And Lord knows that I had some of the worst luck on YouTube of these. It took me to where I was about $200 worth. Not to get a Clairvoyant, but just to get a five-star period. So DTI Chaos is going to start us off in this because we have a video submission. And when I say you submit videos, I normally like for you to do Team Pop. And you'll notice when the Team Pop happened... He had not one, not two, not three, not four, but five new champions. And check that out. We have to start off a six-star Clairvoyant on video, along with a six-star Annihilus, and a five-star of the champion, and then four-star Warlock and a three-star Warlock. How cool is that? So DTI, not to be confused with the president of my channel, DTA, uh, you started us off amazing. Way to go. That is so cool that you got that on video forever and that you were uh, kind enough to submit the video to this opening. So that's a great way to kick off this opening. And now we're going to keep going through with Legendary Dad, six-star Nick Fury. Uh, I'm just going to say the featured or sub-featured champion to make it a little bit easier on myself. KB Colossal with a five-star sub-featured champion. Six-star Killmonger for X-Man 21, who also got a six-star dupe on his Darkhawk. Shut the front door. And then... If that wasn't crazy enough, a six-star Warlock dupe. This guy goes harder for crystals than I go hard for hopefully not going into debt. All right, uh, six-star Clairvoyant for Husum 007. Or Husum also got a uh, three-star Clairvoyant, so that was kind of a dual screenshot pop out of the crystal. Now check this out. We had our first ever Rage at Game dual compilation of 20 different crystals. You can see... That he got a dupe on the five-star Gladiator Hulk, but also a five-star featured champion, a five-star superior Iron Man. Six-star sub-featured and a five-star Gwynpool for Brutal Z. Sammy Domza with a five-star sub-featured and a five-star Miles. Six-star and a five-star. Look at that. And three five-stars underneath. This is just five crystals. Four five-stars and a six-star. That's just crazy stupid luck for VDs. And a six-star sub-featured and a five-star featured. Armand 2017, you probably thought that six-star sub-featured was amazing, and it was, but compared to that opening, right? And then Zimmer also got a six-star sub-featured. Everybody got their hands on a six-star Warlock but me. Uh, six-star featured for Zimmer as well. Steve-O with a five-star featured champion and a four-star and a three-star. Dolbert with that six-star sub-featured champion. Sir Hiss, check that out. I didn't know when to throw this out, but, you know, he opened a 16 Max Sig, five-star crystals, and got the six-star Immortal Iron Fist. Sir Hiss, that's amazing. X3200 with that five-star featured champion. Six-star Symbiote Supreme and a six-star Gamora. We got that double six-star luck from 10. I always love when that happens, along with the five-star Falcon. Then we got a Warlock-approved three, five, and six-stars for NTG Car. Now Shadow Stalker with a six-star dupe of coal from one of these. Uh... Nylar War with a five-star Blade, a five-star Nick Fury, a dupe of five-star Omega Red, a dupe of that same five-star Nick Fury, and a dupe of the same Omega Red. Uh, I had so much jealousy. Dr. Vax, six-star Nick Fury, and a six-star Night Thrasher along with a five-star Moon Knight. That is unbelievable luck. Five-star sub-featured for Killikai 414 HD JH4 with the five star featured champion. Aqua Spoon Nom. <laughs> Six star Black Widow. I almost sound like Elmer Fett on that laugh. Five star featured for a Honey Badger, because Honey Badger don't care, y'all. Shoddy T with a five star sub featured champion. Then we've got Sin Game with a five star thing and a five star sub featured champion. Then Shinku. Six star featured champion. Travis87 with the five star featured champion. Five-star featured champion as well for Ghost83, who was watching YouTube at the time of that uh, crystal opening. Eli got himself a five-star uh, featured champion and didn't need uh, more shades of gray for that to happen. Now we have a second video for this, and it is a video of the slice crystals that I did not get to include in yesterday's video. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead because that six-star Symbiote Supreme totally got caught on video. I have never opened a six-star from those, but congratulations to Mr. Softly24. I did get that in. Five-star Venom the Duck and a five-star Guillotine for Strange Magic. 
Phoenix Infinite with a six-star Venom. Are you kidding me? Zimmer with a six-star Drax. Uh, and then also... Oh, that was uh, not supposed to be in there. Uh, by the way, now that that in, is in there, I just want to say, if you haven't checked out my community page, uh, Doomstat was a great member of the community that unfortunately just passed away due to a battle with cancer. So uh, the info on how to uh, support him, even if it's just dueling the profile, I can never uh, never say that enough on my channel. The best thing I can do in this community is help people, and that is a big-time help to his family right now who is grieving, of course, the loss of an incredible man. All right, don't know how I'm going to make that transition, but back to this. Six-star Venom Duck for Spooled SRT. Then we got a five-star Feature Champion, five-star Cold Dupe, and a five-star Cyclops for Mernon Wood. Uh, Existence X with a six-star Feature Champion, a five-star Sabretooth, who I still don't have. Six-star Sub-Feature and a five-star Featured for XO9700 and a five-star Cyclops. Now we've got double five-star Featureds and a five-star Angela for Lion XI. And then a six-star Venom the Duck and a five-star Blade for End 3R Dragon 7. SD Yo-Yo got that five-star sub-featured luck. Also that six-star featured luck for SD. And, uh, wow, believe it or not, we just made it through. My hope was to get this in under 10 minutes. Right now we're in under 7. That means I'm either talking really fast and being efficient with time or something is uh, just working out well. Either way. We covered a lot of ground in this video. Don't try this at home. It took me $200, $200, just a crazy stupid amount of money to get a five-star crystal from these. Not a five-star feature or stuff feature, just a five-star miles and a five-star University of Phoenix. So again, don't try this at home, but uh, congrats to everybody who submitted screenshots and videos. And uh, it'll be curious what, I might actually just use something like this for the featured uh, opening in order to just show what it looks like to have that Black Widow Clairvoyant as a six star pop out of the crystal. Even got that hourglass on her stomach looking feisty and ready to uh, nullify some haters. So there you go. Have a great one, YouTube. Thanks to everybody who submitted for this video. It's always an honor to put this together. My phone now almost has 10,000 screenshots, so I'm going to have to go through and do some spring cleaning at some point. But for now, that's not your problem. Just know that I do my best to uh, make it happen. Have a good one.